Well, out of the situation at the border, a group of lawmakers has been witnessing the conditions there firsthand. Here now to talk about this is Republican Congressman Scott Perry from Pennsylvania. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks so much for having me. And uh, unfortunately, the Biden administration continues to fail uh, at, uh, at being president at the border. Uh, you know, it's been 44 days since uh, Vice President Harris was named as the lead person on the border. She's not been to the border, but I'll tell you what, what is happening on the border. The border patrols here and uh, in the sector I'm in, the, the, the influx of illegal foreign nationals, illegal uh, aliens is up 600 percent. I'm sitting at a food bank right now, right on the border. Where are you? Can, can you just, where, where, where exactly are you? Can you just tell us? We're in, we're in the Yuma sector right. of, uh, in Arizona, in the Yuma sector. Right, right. Uh, sure. yeah, yeah, and this, this, uh, this food bank has doubled uh, their requirements here. And of course, you know, that, that's tough to take. I mean, uh, you just simply can't double things overnight and expect, uh, you know, to be able to fulfill that requirement. And today, just earlier today, I mean, people might think it's uh, just people from Mexico coming. Uh, today, we saw Russians, we saw Armenians, uh, Cubans. Yesterday, Romanians, um, uh, I think a day and a half ago, Iranians. Really? So think about this. These are people that are literally flying into Mexico so can, and, and yeah. flying to Mexico with a ticket out. So they have two tickets. Uh, they discard the, the ticket that after they get here, make their way up to the border, pay the cartels or come into indentured servitude and then cross into, uh, you know, cross into uh, over the American border. And of course, the people on this side of the border, the Border Patrol in particular and all the government agencies have to deal with that. And so, among other things that you wouldn't think about, you don't necessarily ha house Brazilians with Armenians right. and or Russians with uh, somebody from South, you know, from Central America. And you have to have interpreters for these people, too. You yeah. have to have the space. What's happening? Tell, tell us, Congressman, so, so they're getting picked up by Border Patrol, but is it the same kind of catch and release phenomenon that we've seen in the past? They, tell, us, tell, us what, tell us what's supposed to happen with them. Well, it is, it is catch and release. They're coming in in such a volume, there's not enough time to process them, so and they can't be held because of the updated Flores decision. The Border Patrol can only hold them for so long, so they have to be processed out, and they go to either non-governmental organizations or ICE, which then moves them directly into the interior of the country in different neighborhoods, uh, you know, across the across the country, and th and that's literally what happened. And of course, they get court dates, but they fail to appear in about 80 or higher percent of the cases. So essentially, for all intents and purposes. These people, once they enter into the country, never leave the country. And where you are, where you've been, uh, Congressman, are there these migrant detention facilities? Are you seeing any of that? I have seen that. Like I said, they are overwhelmed right now. Again, a 600 percent increase. And they have to keep them moving. And they also have to accommodate for the different nationalities that might not get along. And also, like I said, they have to have Russian interpreters now, Armenian interpreters, Romanian, uh, Portuguese. All that is required to facilitate this, these activities. And every time that there's a Border Patrol agent dealing with inputting and in-processing, that's a Border Patrol agent that's not out on the border, not patrolling the wall. The wall, by the way, which was stopped, construction on the wall was stopped, and those gaps in the wall are where the uh, illegal foreign nationals are pouring into the country. Just very briefly, Congressman, so you'll be going back to Washington. What, what, what message will you take back? The message to take back is, is that the Biden administration needs to faithfully execute the laws of the United States of America. People that want to seek asylum, God bless them. We all want to help, but they need to do that from the country that they're within. If we just if we just enforce the laws that we have, we can handle the situation on the border. But now, right now, there's just this huge rush to come across an open border. We are aiding and abetting the cartels that are making millions of dollars every single day. Human trafficking, the American public, taxpaying public is now part and parcel to human trafficking and horrific stories. This has to end, and the president can and must end it. Congressman Scott Perry, thank you very much thank indeed. You. Thank you.